had an opportunity to watch um, the games that Florida's played up to this point, and uh, they appear to be a much improved basketball team than, than they were last year. Their, their style of ball has changed, um, similar to what uh, Coach White was utilizing when he was at Louisiana Tech, up-tempo, pressing, aggressive style of ball. Um, they uh, have definitely improved their number of possessions and, and their aggressiveness. Uh, they're a lot deeper than they have been. Um, it appears that they're, they're playing 10 and 12 guys because of uh, how aggressive they're playing and the energy that they're playing with, that they are utilizing uh, a full complement of all their players. Uh, I, I remember when, when we first got to Florida State, that Florida had been very successful against the Seminoles for a long period of time. So I know what it's like, you know, with an in-state rival and you are improving your team. There's a tremendous amount of focus, uh, a, a, a lot of energy and planning uh, going into um, our game. Um, they probably had a, a few more days to prepare and, I'm sure, sure they've utilized it wisely. We are a team trying to find itself. Um, we This is the first time we've had as many new guys that we're depending on to be integral parts of, 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 our, of our rotation uh, um, in some of the other teams. To, to, to Noah and Quincy didn't play nearly as much as we had planned for them to play, but I went with the most experienced guys that I could the other night against Indiana because uh, that game required that. We're trying to develop for the long haul and hopefully we'll be able to use a, a full complement of our players uh, in this particular game. Uh, we, we realized that even though we are playing fewer games this year and we are in the non-conference portion of our of, of our season it's important that we get guys as much experience as we can this time of year so that uh we'll be a little bit more prepared and, and we'll also improve the quality of our depth as we as we look toward our conference play obviously <laughs> conference play is just right around the corner as well as we start next week against uh Obviously, um, a Georgia Tech team that proved what they're capable of doing with their outstanding victory last week against Kentucky. So, you know, we still, uh, this is a, a, a different um, situation that, than what we've been in in the past. But the mere fact that limited games, fewer games, I'm saying, I mean, and conference play starting a lot sooner. Uh, that's really, really the, the, the most important part of our schedule. Uh, having a play against a team like Florida, who's, um, you know, right on the cusp of being a top 25 ranked team, and have gotten off to, a, a, I think, a 3-0 and start, uh, a state rival, a, a team that we've been successful against uh, a number of years. And knowing that whatever their best shot is, we're definitely going to get it. Uh, come Saturday, 11.30 tip, that's different. So this game uh, brings a lot of different um, challenges to, to us. So what we're going to do is just try to stay in the right frame of mind, try not to uh, put a whole lot of emphasis on it, just hopefully that, that we can be as prepared as we can for what we know is going to be a little different type of Florida team than what we played in the past. Yesterday was a, we tried not to take very much out of our players. It was more of a walk through, uh, not nearly as aggressive as we normally would have had we not played a game the night before. More, more of a mental um, um, practice session uh, with, with some shooting and more of a walk through. Hopefully we'll get 
a, a few more things done today in our preparation uh, because we, we expect this to be probably the most talented team uh, that Coach White's had, the most well-prepared team because they had a few more days to prepare and a team that I think would be extremely determined to be successful. Now, from our standpoint, this is the kind of game that we need in order to keep us focused and also prepare us for the uh, ACC conference race. The better your competition is, the, the obviously the more you find out about yourself and uh, the, the, the better prepared you'll be once you get in the thick of your conference race. So we're looking forward to the game. So, uh, Coach, I want to ask you, so you, when you got to Florida State, uh, you, the Gators had had a lot of success against Florida State. Uh, so what emphasis did you put on just trying to flip that and try to make this really a rivalry? Well, we, we made it very clear that, um, you know, we didn't focus as much on the outcome of the game as we did our preparation for the game and the mindset that we had to approach the game with is that, you know, uh, some of the, in looking at the films, some of the, the, the um, shortcomings of the team wasn't necessarily, didn't necessarily have to do, had to do with the physical talents. It was more uh, of the more mental and emotional approach that we thought was obvious in, in, in the, uh, films that we evaluate. And so we just challenged our players uh, to play that what we were asking them to do is give us everything they had and play up to the abilities that they were, they were blessed with and that we live with the outcome. And, but that's basically has been our approach all along, all, being as fundamentally sound and, 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 and play to your abilities. See, there are some things that you can control and some things you can't. What you can control is your effort and your focus. And uh, and when you when you're playing with effort and you have a tremendous focus, you execute those things that are, are, are more mental, the fundamental things that you physically can do. And if you do that, you know you you have to accept the outcome. But in watching the films, we pointed out areas of the game of some of the games uh, that we could uh, execute a whole lot better if we were focused and, and, and gave a tremendous amount of effort and. Obviously, it helped us a little bit. Got an Irish Rafael next. Coach, you sometimes you'll make the reference to uh, the cake being in the oven with, with your team. Is is this year, is it a microwave uh, that you're having to use to, to, to prepare this meal? Well, there's no doubt that the system that we've used in the past has been has worked for us. You play with a lot of energy. Um, uh, pushing the ball on offense, being a, extremely aggressive on defense. And that requires an awful lot of effort. Now, if we if we going to end up playing MJ 40 minutes, you might win more games on the front end. But in, in late January and February, that doesn't mold well for wanting to finish strong. Um I didn't like that. I didn't think that, uh, you know, we always try to, um, you know, give guys what we think is best for them and best for our team. And even though that was an old time game, uh, I looked up and I don't know when we've had anybody, maybe since Tony Douglas was here, where we had to play a guy that many minutes in order for us to be successful. But we had to go with our most experienced players uh, in, this, in, that, in that game. Um, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that that Nate Jack and White Wilkes and um, especially uh, Raquan Evans, Shadar Calhoun, those guys, we can have a, an opportunity to get them a little bit more involved. We're gonna need them down the stretch, and they are they're more than capable uh, of, of contributing. But in this in this game the other night, that was not what we felt that was best. We, we felt very fortunate to come away with a, with a victory like that. So um, this is a little bit more challenging 
because we're playing against uh, uh, we don't have a lot of we don't have the exhibition games and a couple of non-conference games where we could two or three or four <laughs> we didn't have the pre those conference games that you normally I'm sorry those um, tournament games that you normally like to play uh, in it gives you you know three games uh, even though they they, they, most of them are pretty good games, but they're games where you can learn a little bit more about your team, learn what your rotation is about, learn who's going to respond in certain situations. Um, and then when and then when you get into games like this, you have a little better idea how to utilize your talents. That's not the case now. You know, we we definitely in the from frying pan to the fire, so we frying pan to the fire. We're definitely learning on the fly. I think Calhoun is going to be an integral part. I think Jack has made tremendous improvement. And, and, and Wyatt Wills is a guy that we think we got to get involved in. God knows we have to have Tanner and uh, Tanoa and, and Quincy a, a little bit more involved if we're going to have the kind of season that we think we're going to have. So we got some work to do. And right now we don't have a lot of time to learn about um, where we are in terms of our rotation. See, what I think sometimes what is missed in, 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 in your, your, the awareness is understanding of, of, of college basketball, there's a mental and emotional component where kids are, are growing, maturing, and they're anxious, and you know they're, uh, they're, they, they, they play with confidence and, 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 and uh, 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 maybe a, a clear understanding of what they should be doing. Well, we haven't had a whole lot of games to do that. I mean, for for Quince, for uh, Scotty Barnes to move from being a power forward to being a point guard at this level, the transition of learning a new system with new teammates, a new position, and and and, and trying to do it at a high level is is a lot more challenging than what I think the average fan or sports writer can would think about. You only think about in reality what he's actually doing on the court, but that process is not nearly as, as easy as one would might think. Now, maybe he might have made it, he might have made it look easier than it was, but I, I believe if you was inside his, his brain, he's learning, you know, what decisions to make and when, when can he be aggressive offensively and when he's a facilitator, <clears throat> you know, it, it takes a while for you to get in that groove at this level, as, as well as as well as Tenor and, and and Quincy, as well as as uh, Calhoun. I mean, uh, uh, Tenor, Quincy, and, and and Calhoun. Those guys are going through a process, and we don't have the luxury of right now making a few mistakes while they're learning. I mean, Tenor went in the game, and two or three times down the court, he's in, he was in. His anxiety took over. His uh, that was a, 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 a it meant an awful lot to him to to, to to be out there on that court. And I thought he expired himself real quickly. And we had to, you know, give him a break. That's just, um, I thought that Calhoun was a little more comfortable, and, and we think Quincy is 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 really really capable of giving us some help. But right now we're still in the, going through that process. So this is a a very challenging time for us, fellas. To we, we want to maintain the, the the momentum that we've established over the years, and we're trying to get our guys ready uh, for uh, the new roles that they are, are, are now being put into with um, Malik and Gray and um, um, Polite. Those, those guys got different roles now. And so, as opposed to those guys, you know, we need other guys to assume the roles that they have. And then, and in reality, to be honest with you, I haven't been able to establish some roles right now. We, we still try to figure it out. <laughs> we'll go next to St. Clair. Coach, good morning. So, uh, no. um, watching your team play an overtime game in the second game, what did you take away from that? And was, would you say that was good for your guys to be tested 
sort of, I don't know if you want to call it adversity or just how they deal with being extended uh, an extra couple of minutes basketball. What I saw was some veterans that, that showed that they've been through the war and I thought that they turned it up a notch. I think Malik became more physical. Turpin, they went after rebounds. Uh, I thought they blocked a couple of shots. Uh, they they showed that they've been in the wars before, and um, which was good to see. Um, obviously, shows a little bit about the confidence that, that Barnes has. But I thought in, uh, the, they all played with a, a level of focus that I think was could set the tone for the new guys to see what it's like in those situations. So I was very proud of the fact that uh, there was, a, um, they were connected, they maintained their pause. I didn't, I didn't see anyone panicking. Uh, and um, that, that, that uh, a challenge hopefully will be meaningful to us as we, as we, as we move through the remainder of the season. There a follow-up, Sinclair? I'm good. Ryan Kelly from WCTV. Hey coach, just kind of wanted to follow up on Iris question there a little bit with the idea of finding guys and finding roles. You're obviously still going to play your numbers, but when Florida is a team that's comfortable with rolling out as many as you are, just how big of a challenge does that present while you're still trying to find those roles? Well, <clears throat> I'm hopeful that Florida is in a similar situation because I do believe they have some new guys they're trying to work into their system as well. And, and, and I'm sure coach can't be 100% sure exactly how he's utilizing his guys. So, I mean, I mean, we both probably, but we both are probably trying to figure out, you know, what is best in relation to, you know, each situation. Um, I'm sure our game will be a little different, uh, a little different than the other teams that they played. And, and I'm sure his, his, whatever his schemes are, uh, they will be new to his, his, his incoming players. But he's had a few more days to kind of, <laughs> to probably ev evaluate them than we've had, you know. And, uh, but we elected not to play in a tournament. And, I, and I'm pleased, I am happy <laughs> that we did that. Um, but, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that he will have his team ready in order because of the, the, the importance of the rivalry for both schools. And hopefully we, we will be the same. Any more follow-ups for coach this morning? All right. And that being said, we'll see you guys, uh, Wish I was it's served. A it's a breakfast meeting. We're having a breakfast club. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm sure I'm really appreciative to TV and uh, for them allowing us to play such an early start. You know, I'm, I probably didn't sort this out very well. <laughs> Had I given this a little bit more thought, maybe I would have begged to play on Sunday. And uh, but uh, it never in my wildest dreams that I feel like. I need to have a sleepover in my office in order to make sure I make the game on time. But you know, we that's that's the that's the um what we're facing. And the only thing good about it, we both we both are facing it. So <laughs> I, just, I, I wonder, I hope it's on replay for the people on the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you guys are good, we'll let Coach go and we'll uh, we'll see some of you guys tomorrow. All right, see All right. you. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks Coach. Coach. Thanks, Coach.